Hey, this is Nick from DjangoFX, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Swizzle node. So if you right-click in the node graph and bring down a Swizzle under one input, you can see that it has one input and one output. And of course, if we double-click it, nothing shows in the graph because we need an initializer. And for this initialization, let's go ahead and just bring in a fade for now. And we're going to make the minimum one and the max one. Now you can see that the particles... Uh, go outwards. We're going to hide the particles with Control A. Let's bring our point fade into the swizzle and double click on swizzle. You can see that nothing changes. And so all swizzle does is takes the X component, Y component, and Z components and swaps them. Right? So basically, X will equal the value of Z if I change X to 2. So now you can see that X equals what Z did and we get kind of a weird thing like this basically it's just uh, matrix multiplication and uh, as we change these different values you can see that right now Y equals what X does Y equals what Y does and Y equals what Z does and that's, that's basically it that's kind of how uh, this whole thing works um, there's not a whole lot to it it's just matrix multiplication and it just allows you to swizzle or swap out the different coordinate systems. So you can make x equal y and z equal x and you get some interesting fields like this depending on what you do. And so that's basically it. Uh, I don't really have any like super good uh, uses for this but I'm sure that there are plenty of use cases. You can see that you can get some uh, really interesting uh, shapes and such uh, out of this. So that's basically it. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you soon.